In this video, I'm gonna talk you through live streaming software. If you wanna broadcast your DJ sets to the world and you don't wanna use the lame app on your phone from Facebook or Instagram, you wanna do more than that. So for instance, you might wanna put overlays on to make everything look cool. You might wanna use more than one camera or indeed you might wanna to broadcast to more than one platform. Then you're gonna need live streaming software. And I'm gonna talk you through eight of the big live streaming options that you have out there in this video. So this is part of our whole series of content, both written and video on live streaming. There's links to that underneath. There's also links to an article where I go through in more detail the apps that we're about to look at now. So if you wanna follow up on that, that's how to do it. And if you enjoy this, please click share and follow and notify as well so you can see when we release more videos like this. Right, let's get started. Before we do though, there's two apps you won't find here. You won't find Wirecast and you won't find vMix, which are two big apps for laptop computers for Windows and for Mac. The reason is they're big broadcast apps, they're very hard to use, they cost a lot of money and DJs shouldn't be using them, especially if you're going solo, DJing, trying to run some broadcast software as well, it's too much. We've tried it, we failed, and if we fail, you're gonna fail as well. So they're not in here. If you're looking for reviews of those, look elsewhere. I'm gonna look at the stuff we've used and that we know DJs are using successfully. Right, let's take a look. And, and the very first app is this one here. This is called uh, Restream uh, Live Studio. So Restream is an app that lets you send one output from your Mac, PC, or indeed your mobile device, and broadcast that output to lots of different channels like Facebook, Instagram, Mixcloud Live, or whatever. And as part of, so you're gonna want that probably, probably one of the reasons you're here is that you wanna broadcast to more than one platform. So this is a web app, you just sign up for it. Uh, there's a free version, there's also a paid for version. And you, you, you sign up for it and there you go, it's on the web, it does that thing for you. But part of Restream is the thing that you're looking at me talking to you on now, which is this app here. And this app is really cool. It's got lots of things on it that let you do more than just talk. So I could say, you know, hello world, this is Phil. Uh, and put that live on the screen by pressing this caption button here. There it is, there. <laughs> and so you can do lots of captions like that, have them line up. You can get uh, people's comments on the screen and you can, um, soon you'll be able to switch cameras on all within your browser. So you don't need any software at all, which is pretty cool, especially if you don't want the fuss of trying to run software and DJ software on the same computer if you're using the same computer for streaming. So this is quite an interesting, quite new option. It's called Restream Live Studio and it's part of the Restream subscription. So you might wanna look at that. It might be all that you need, uh, but it might not be all that you need. So if you decide that no, you want more stuff, you wanna get guests in and you wanna show your screen and you wanna use more than one camera, then you're gonna to wanna to get some software that lets you do all those extra style things. So let's look at a few of those bits of software. And we're gonna start with the very, very big one, OBS. Some people will look at this and say, yep, that's it, that's the one I want, it's the one everyone else is using. It's a bit like Audacity, oh, excuse me, Audacity, which is kind of the open source wave editor that all DJs seem to have on their computers for trimming their MP3s and stuff. This is kind of like the broadcast version of that. It's free and kind of everyone uses it. So OBS, open broadcast software is probably where you're just gonna stop and go get it and use it. But watch on because there are other variations. Indeed, there's other variations of this. And the big variation of this is this one, Streamlabs. So Streamlabs is OBS with a kind of sheen on top of it that makes it easier to go live than OBS. So with Streamlabs, you've got lots of gadgets and themes and widgets and plugins and things that you can do just to make it a lot simpler and a lot faster to make it look like your own uh, and to iron out some of the difficulties of using OBS. So a lot of people uh, who have used OBS have ended up using this because it's just simpler and better and there are paid for options you can add to Streamlabs, although the basic software is free. So you might want to look at that one. The one we use is Ecamm Live. This is Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live is pretty simple to use, but very powerful. So you've got all the usual stuff, switching cameras, bringing in guest presenters, if you're uh, inclined to do that kind of thing. 
and having overlays and showing your screen, mixing audio and all that stuff, broadcasting to whichever platforms you want, uh, including to Restream, uh, but it's very, very simple to use. And having come from Wirecast, which I mentioned at the beginning, uh, this was a revelation to us. Now this is a subscription program uh, and it's not particularly cheap, but if you're serious about live streaming and you're gonna be doing it solo, you just wanna click go and know that you're gonna know what's going on, then I can personally thoroughly recommend Ecamm Live because we use it every day in all of our live streams, both music and training, tutorials, it's all Ecamm Live. So big thumbs up for me and that's Mac only. So OBS is Mac, Linux and PC and Windows by the way. All right then, so that's Ecamm Live. The next one I wanna show you is XSplit. This is kind of the Ecamm Live for Windows users. Again, it's kind of grown out of gaming. It's very easy to use, but it's very powerful. It is Windows only, uh, and a lot of people swear by this. There's a free version of this, and the subscription's apparently quite cheap. Now, we don't use this. It's the only piece of software here we haven't got a lot of personal experience with, but our community tell, tell us that it's a good bit of software, and we know quite a few people who use XSplit. So XSplit Broadcaster is the choice if you want something that's PC only. Now, what about if you're an iOS user, what about if you've got iPads and you've got an iPhone in your drawer from four years ago that you still haven't sold to anyone, you've got a new iPhone as well, you've got all these iDevices knocking around, and have you ever thought, well, why can't I use those for live streaming? You can, and the piece of software you will use is this one here. It's called Switcher Studio, and this lets you set up remote cameras wirelessly, and a iOS device to be your main switcher that lets you switch video, run pre-recorded roles and so on, add your captions and add your titles and overlays, basically do all the stuff that the bigger software we just looked at can do, but wirelessly on your iOS devices. It sounds quite beguiling, doesn't it? And it is, it's good fun. We've used Switcher Studio. Why don't we use it now? Well, we've got computers. They're more powerful, they're easier to use. But also it's quite expensive. And it's a subscription about $39 a month to get what you kind of need to use it. And we found iOS devices quite fiddly to do this kind of stuff. But it might be that you think, no, that's what I've been looking for. No wires, no need to use my laptop. I can just use that for DJing. I'll use my iOS devices and live stream with those. If so, and you can afford it, I definitely recommend you look at Switcher Studio. It's a great piece of software. It just wasn't for us in the end. All right then, so the next one I wanna show you is called Larix Broadcaster. This is a Google Play download for it. It's for Android, you can also get it for iOS. So Larix Broadcaster is a different piece of software to the ones we've talked about so far. Larix Broadcaster is basically like the Facebook app when you click go live or the Instagram app when you click go live. It takes the camera and it takes the audio feed from your portable device, your Android device or your iOS device, and it broadcasts them to your service of choice. So not much different. However, you can broadcast directly to Facebook or whatever. However, the nice thing about Larix Broadcaster is that you can broadcast to restream.io and therefore broadcast to lots of services at once, to Facebook and YouTube, and Mixcloud Live and all that lot at once. And that's the first good thing about it. The second good thing about it is it's technically very good. So it handles changing, um, changing uh, upload speeds and it can lock your camera so the focus isn't always trying to find you when you're DJing and your hands are coming in and out and all that kind of thing. So it's quite a high quality feed. It doesn't have anything more than that. You can't have titles and social media stuff and all that overlays and things. It just broadcasts the camera on your unit. However, it does it very, very well. So if primarily what you're looking to do is use your phone or use your iOS device, but to broadcast to more than one service and have a nice, strong, high quality signal, then Larix Broadcaster is a good choice. There's loads of choices out there for doing this, by the way, for iOS and Android. Loads and loads of apps that will let you put in where you want to broadcast to and, um, you know, take your camera and microphone or whatever audio device you've got plugged in, uh, take them over and do that job for you. The reason I'm recommending Larix Broadcaster is that the, the, the service you're likely to use it with is restream.io to broadcast to all those different services, and it's the one they recommend. So if you wanna get support, you wanna read tutorial documents on how to set it up, they're all on the Restream website. So there's, it's a good example, it's totally free, it's a good example of an app that will let you do that. Now the final app I wanna show you, it's kind of a yes, no, mixed review, should I be doing this, shouldn't I be doing this, but it is unique, so let's have a look at it. And it's called, Yellow Duck, and Yellow Duck allows you to go live on Instagram from OBS or any of the other 
pieces of software we've looked at for your Mac or your Windows PC. And it's the only piece of software out there that lets you do this. So if you think about it, I haven't mentioned Instagram at all so far, and that's because Instagram is locked to your mobile device. There's no way for your desktop device to interact with it in any way. So how does this software get around it? Well, it's quite convoluted. What it does is set up an Android emulator on your Mac or your Windows computer, and it pretends basically to be you on Instagram using a phone. And it then interacts with another piece of software, so it could be OBS, could be Ecamm Live, could be vMix, whatever. Interacts with uh, another piece of software and it uh, takes the feed from that and then pushes it to Instagram for you. It's got good points. Uh, good points are you can't do it anywhere else. No other way of doing it. It's got bad points though. It, it has to set your computer up as an Android device. That's not easy. It can go wrong. It has to kind of hack its way into Instagram. So you have to get a stream key from Instagram and you have to quickly plug it into the software, quickly go live before it all goes wrong. And you can't just pick up your mobile device and then check your Instagram feed and be replying to people. And you know, you can't do any of that because your computer thinks it's the phone and you can't log in as well. So it's all quite complicated, basically because it's all a big hack. However, it's the only way to go, on, go live on Instagram from your desktop and it's free. So if you're prepared to do that, you're prepared to have a go at doing that, hey, there's not an awful lot to use for trying Yellow Duck. So there you go. Those are eight pieces of software you might want to look at to kind of up your live streaming game when you're DJing, uh, DJing online. If you've got any comments on these, you've got any questions, please ask them underneath the video. And again, please do head over to Digital DJ Tips. There's a big link underneath to go to a whole host of articles and videos and reviews and roundups we've got of everything you need, hardware, software, cameras, audio interfaces, uh, different platforms, different ways to live stream, ways to make your live streams work, big mistakes to avoid. We've got the lot. We've spent a lot of time producing producing these resources for you. So go take a look at them by following the links underneath. And once more, if you've liked this, please do uh, share the video and please do follow this channel if you're not already a follower. Now get good, get live streaming and make the moments and I'll see you again very soon.